for this training module, I am currently using the Advanced Custom Fields um, version 4.1.4 as the core plugin. Once again, this one is free. I am also using the Advanced Custom Fields Options page 1.0.1. And then finally, the Advanced Custom Fields Repeater Field, version 1.0.1. .1. And so with these three plugins combined, um, the Options Field, and so the Options Field gives us this um, Options page here, and you'll see that we have no fields assigned to it so far. And so <clears throat> under Custom Fields, Let's go to custom fields and let's add new. And we're going to the first field groups that we're going to create are going to be for the header area, um, some and and also basic theme styles. So let's call this theme this field group. And let's add a field for the logo. And you see that once I move to the next line, it's going to give us the field name. So this is the slug that we're going to be using to call this uh, in the function. The field type. And hit the drop down. And we're going to select the image. You can give field instructions. Set if it's required or not. We're going to return the image URL in this case. The location rules. This is one of my favorite aspects of advanced custom fields. The location rules allow you to place the field groups wherever you would like them to be. And so we're going to put this on the options page is equal to options. And I publish. And I'm now going to open up this options page. Well, actually, I want to set that we want this in standard meta box. I just like the way the standard meta box looks. <laughs> And so under options, I'll open this in a new tab. Here we are. So now we have the company logo. So I hit the add image. I'll just drop this up here. And notice this is a very large image. Now let's go to our header.php. And here for our logo area. Under ACF, here is your normal field from options page. And the difference, if you're getting it from the options page, it has to have this extra parameter, this extra argument here, options. Um, if it's just if it's on a normal post page or custom tempo, template, I mean custom post type, excuse me, um, you can simply call the uh, field like this. And so we need the company logo field name. And now when we refresh, okay. And so now let's <clears throat> add a banner image. So I'll come under the options, add field. And for this one, I'm going to 
make a text area. And I'm also going to add a tab field. Actually, I'm going to add two tab fields to separate our options a bit. So I'll use the tab field type. And I'll put this one on top of the company logo so that it defines the beginning of the first tab. I'll drag this one above the header advert to define the beginning of the second tab. Now let's refresh our options page. And we have two tabs. Here's my Google AdSense code. So now inside of this, we'll go ahead and add another field. So now when we refresh, and here we are.